Um, happening now, a Norton Shores woman accused of abusing and killing her teenage son is on trial. Shanda Vanda Ark is facing a first degree felony charge of murder and child abuse in the first degree for alleged crimes that stem back to July of last year. 13 on your side, Trevier Gonzalez is live from Muskegon County. Trevier, what's happened so far? A hey, good afternoon, Veronica. We were able to get to details for fairly early on. So far, we've heard from many first responders who were able to describe the state in which they found this victim dead, and it all really sounded rather dark. We want to go ahead and let you know that the details surrounding this case are disturbing. Now, the prosecutor's opening statement was also really painting a grim picture to members of the jury. They described the victim, Timothy Ferguson, as a 15-year-old who was incredibly malnourished. One witness even saying that bones were protruding from his body when they found him. A normal 15-year-old would normally weigh about 132 pounds, but Timothy Ferguson just 69. They describe this as a demented version of Harry Potter with descriptions of the victim at times staying in a closet with only a tarp that smelled of urine and feces. There are also motion activated cameras throughout the home including the bathroom, locks on the pantry, cabinets and refrigerator. The prosecution later said that criminals in prison had more freedom than what this 15 year old had. Vendor Ark's attorney called this trial weird right from the start. Still, he made a point to argue that his client is not guilty because she had no intention to hurt or kill, meaning that this doesn't satisfy what would be first degree. He said that Vander Ark's punishments were reasonable according to the defendant and presented her as an educated and hardworking woman who had even passed the state bar and was working to become a licensed attorney. But the question that has to be floating in the minds of jurors here, how did Vander Ark not know that these alleged actions would lead to her son's death? Now, the defendant's son, Paul Ferguson, also played a hand in this alleged abuse. Ferguson, it should be said, will be testifying against his mother in this case. And it, in addition to that, Vander Ark herself is expected to testify on the stand. Now, less than an hour ago, I ended up hearing these, this conversation. There were officers who were reading transcripts of text messages, and as this was going on, this was the first time I saw Vander Ark get emotional. She ended up uh, almost crying and breaking up into tears. This caused court to have to go and take a break because of that panic attack. You can expect reporter Nate Bell to be able to pick up and continue to see where this trial goes. For now, we're live here in Escaping County, Trevor Gonzalez, 13 on your side.